Good afternoon, BookTube. It is Wednesday, February 27th. And I didn't vlog. Well, I kind of vlogged earlier this week, but I don't really feel like posting it because I was just feeling really shitty, like mentally, a lot earlier this week. Um, but I started feeling better uh, throughout the day today, so I feel like I'll probably vlog for the rest of the week. I actually have friends from college coming to visit me on Friday for the weekend, and I'm going to this book thing <laughs> um, tonight with a friend of mine. So that's exciting. If you didn't see last week's vlog, you should, because I talk about the book that I'm currently reading, but I'm not going to tell you what it's about in this vlog, because I told you what it was about in the last vlog. So I will link it in the corner for you. There, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but I'm reading Crazy House by James Patterson and Gabrielle Charbonnet. It's good so far, it's really weird, but it's good. Um, if you want to know what it's about, check out last week's vlog. And I'll check in with you a little bit later. <laughs> oh my god, so my manager was just saying how he just started watching all the Harry Potter movies because he hadn't seen them, he'd only seen the first one or something. And then I said something about how they get sad because everybody dies. And he's like, no spoilers. I was like, well, I'm not going to tell you who dies. And then this other girl was like, I want to know who dies. So then my manager was like, oh my god, I'm leaving. <laughs> and then I was telling her all the people who died. And I was like, frig, JK Rowling is evil. Like, oh my god. I'm just like, oh wait, and then this person dies. Oh, and then this person dies. And then this, and I just kept listing them. Like, so many people. Oh my god. <sighs> anyway. I'm going home. At the thing with the, I'm not gonna tell you the name because it has our town name in it, but um, <laughs> it's a, a, a one book to move you. Yeah, like they debate on like books that they think are better, and then the people who are watching the debate or whatever vote on which one they think should be better. Oh, and it's the, the written word. Oh, it's called the written word. Look at how fancy they get couches and trees. <laughs> I'm pretty sure All Around Today's is already on my to-read list, okay. but I don't have it, so well, maybe I'll buy it. Emergency! More people are coming! Um, so the thing is, I saw you come out of your mother and it changed my life. Um, he went to stay with some relatives in a, a town some distance away. <laughs> Which best presents this year's theme? What book are you going to choose? I don't know. It's so hard. <laughs> I'm buying this one. I want to read that one. <laughs> this is the one I want to read. Catherine got the kiss quotient for two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Not at this event, but I just felt I had to share. So I got this book, All Are Wrong Today's. Um, I've actually, pretty sure this was already on my Goodreads TBR. Um, but I couldn't remember anything about it, and so this was one of the books that was being defended, and I voted for it, but it did not win. <laughs> Alright, so I'm all ready for work, and hopefully I will be able to read at work today. Also, actually, the music hasn't been working all week, so I should probably take this opportunity to read on my breaks, because there's no distracting music while I'm reading. It'll just be nice and quiet. Why didn't I think of this before? I don't want to get out of the car. It's so warm in here. And it's cold outside. This has been on the table for a week. Clearly, nobody wants a free donut. So I'm taking it. I didn't read today. <laughs> and the music's fixed now. Uh, it wasn't fixed while I was on my breaks though, so I could have read, but I was on my breaks with other people. And so we were talking and stuff. But now I'm done work and I'm going home and I have to clean everywhere in the house and tidy everything and do lots of laundry because my friends are coming tomorrow! I'm so excited! Look at Anthony made Popeyes basically! Yum! You can't see anything. I just had a visit with my mom and fixed my stepdad's iPhone because I'm smart. <laughs> and now I'm going home to continue to clean because I didn't get much of that done and I'm probably not going to be able to read tonight but whatever such is life. I just dug out some workout mats, workout floor, whatever you want to call it, for my little workout area. So now I can do my like actual like non-dance workouts, my like more workout workouts <laughs> that have like burpees and stuff on the ground in them. I'm so excited. It's a 
white horse. horse. And he's just fucking gunning through the fields and it's just like beautiful day. Is this in a movie? This is her yeah, version. Yeah. What? This is her version of a movie. This is just what you think should happen because this of the music. which is a healthy snack to have after a workout. And an apple. And an apple that Lindsay really wants me to try. It's so good. Because I've never had a honey crisp apple before. We did T25, Speed 2.0, which is like one of the last workouts if you do it in the order that you're supposed to do them in because you're supposed to do that one when you're like strong yeah. and better at working out. Yeah. And we were like, let's do this one. And we were just dying the whole time, but it was the only one that we could do with all three of us in the small space. <laughs> Let me see. I was trying to like work it out and it just kept getting bigger. I feel like I have spiders in my eyes. It's like my bottom eyelashes, they're so piecey today. That's like, good though, that's how oh, you're supposed to. All right. Lindsay straightened her hair and Rhonda's napping. <laughs> so I'm gonna read, but I think I'm gonna come into bed with Rhonda and read. <laughs> I love my bed, it's the best. It's way better than Anthony's bed. We can hear the swans, but we don't know how to get to them. They must be around this bend. They must be. I didn't realize it would be so hard to follow honking. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, wow. It's amazing. Come in. Amazing! That was like the greatest thing of my life. This is like the owl we saw. His name was Woden. <laughs> he wants to come home with me. Did you guys have fun at the marsh? Do that. Yay! I'm such a good idea person, idea maker. I make such good ideas of things to do. <laughs> I had to go back because I forgot to sign us out so that they don't think we died. <laughs> This isn't a glorious taco. I don't know what is. <laughs> Although you can't like see all the filling because I've got so much sour cream and cheese on there, but that's what makes it so delicious. <laughs> oh, isn't this cute? Another tongue kissing, and now they're looking at the sunset. Oh no, what's happening? No! <laughs> what did we do? We, for each other. we all got the same amount of wins. We all won the same amount. <laughs> we got a nice romantic spot at our breakfast table without Wanda. So Danny and I from Danny Darling have decided to write a book together and I just wrote my first chapter and sent it to her and I'm just like anxiously waiting for her to read it but I don't know like what she's doing right now like maybe she can't read it for a while and so like I just feel like I don't know what to do with my life <laughs> right now so I might just edit this vlog thus far. <laughs> it's Monday March 4th and I'm off to the post office to send a book to someone Someone emailed me last week asking if he could buy my copy of I'm Thinking of Ending Things because I have a signed copy and I hated that book and it's his like favorite book ever. <laughs> so I said that if he just paid for shipping, I would just give it to him. So I'm bringing this to the post office and I have to go to the bank later today with Anthony because we're getting our mortgage switched over to a different bank. And other than that, I have no plans. So hopefully... I can read, but I'm also kind of not in the mood for reading, so I'm not sure. I kind of want to rearrange my room a little bit. I'm not sure. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Uh, so this is a thing that I hate in books, and it doesn't happen very often at all, but it just happened, so I'm going to read it to you. Here, he whispered, and pressed something into my hand. My fingers closed around it, and I looked up at him, startled. What's this? I asked. He told me. Huh, I said, as ideas started to tumble through my brain. Like, really? Really, you're going to do that? Okay, so I'm on page 267 of this book, Crazy House. And it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but it's also, like, exciting. So while I think the stuff that's happening is so far-fetched and just, like, stupid, I can't stop reading. <laughs> and I had a hope that there was more to what was happening. Like, I had a hope that a lot of the stupid stuff was happening for a reason so that it would seem less stupid later. And I'm starting to think that there is a reason for the stupid stuff to be happening. So hopefully that's true. Um, we were just tossed a little curveball here. Not sure if you can trust the person who just gave us this information or not. So it's pretty interesting. So I've got mixed feelings about this book. It's 
ridiculous and over the top, but it's fun. Well, I guess that's it for this week's vlog. I guess you'll have to tune in next week if you want to know what I think about the ending of Crazy House.